trailblazer in the fields of technology and entrepreneurship. HF graduate from the class of 1983, Steve Sarowitz has not only carved a remarkable path for himself, but has also become an inspirational figure for aspiring young minds. Today, we look forward to uncovering the invaluable insights and reflections he brings from his incredible journey. His return to HF provides a unique opportunity for students and faculty alike to gain firsthand knowledge from a visionary leader whose roots lie in the very hallways and classrooms that continue to foster growth and excellence. It is with this great enthusiasm that we welcome esteemed HF alumnus, Steve Sarowitz, to our Viking Television Studios. First of all, welcome back. What is it like walking the halls of HF? It's wonderful to be back. Uh, it's great. You know, I love kids and like you, and, mm -hmm. and I love to see the energy, the youthful energy and, and the, you know, it's, it's like you're, you're just getting into life and, and you have all this hope and, and promise. And, and I love to see that. And, I, and I'm really happy to come here and give back a little bit. So how often are you able to get back into the area where you grew up? Very rarely. Um, I was here for my uh, reunion, my 40th reunion. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm aging myself. Yeah, I saw that. But okay. uh, not, not as, you know, I'm, I'm in Chicago area quite now, a bit. With the industry and technology evolving, how do you stay up to date? And what advice do you have for current students interested in your field? Well, which field? Because I'm, I'm a philanthropist. <laughs> well, a, business, a businessman. So I think you should always know what you're doing. Don't go into a business that you don't know. Mm -hmm. I, I went into the restaurant business many years ago, not knowing much about the restaurant business, and I failed pretty miserably, uh, spectacularly. Um, if you're going to go into any type of business, go and learn it first. Go work for someone first. Know the business you're going into. If you're going to go into a business, create a value that differentiates you from other people. And don't be afraid of failure. Most people like me who've been very successful have also had a, a few failures mm -hmm. and failure is okay. Failure is a way to learn. And you've been involved in a lot of philanthropy and social initiatives. What motivated you to and be involved in those type of things? I'm very influenced by my faith. I'm a very uh, dedicated Baha'i um, and the Baha'i faith teaches that money should be at the service of the world. And that's really what I believe. I believe that my money is really not my money, but it's really God's money. And that that money should be invested to make the world a better place. That all of us, one of the tenets of the Baha'i faith, or the major thrust of the Baha'i faith, is that we're one human family. And so if some of us, I, I liken us to flowers in a garden. If some flowers have had a little less sun and a little less water, not through any fault of their own, it's up to me as a philanthropist to spread the excess that I have in a way that will make that garden more equitable and just and fair for everybody. So to that end, the majority of the funds that I that I give away to nonprofits are to uh, organizations that are run and help uh, BIPOC people of color um, and women, and that's because life is not necessarily just, and so it's trying to correct injustices. So I know you mentioned earlier about the high school curriculum, and considering the technological advancements that are happening, do you think HF what it, what suggestions you have for HF involving the curriculum with technology? Well, I think uh, bring people in who are in technology to talk, uh, to forge partnerships with companies and people that are in the technology field, I think is really good. Uh, as many practical uh, internships and things like that, that HF can have and, and kind of interacting with the technology community would be great. Well, Steve Sarwitz, another success story coming from the halls of HF Home of Baltimore High School. I can't thank you enough for taking the time to join us here today. We wish you continued success and appreciate what you've done for Home of Baltimore and the community. Reporting for VTV, I'm Jasmine Walker.